A burning bus disrupted the travels of 51 Memphis-bound Amtrak passengers. Now one man who survived the incident claims the signs that something was wrong with the charter bus were clear but ignored. Good evening, I'm Annette Pegler. The bus had a malfunction in Acre, Louisiana, about an hour outside of New Orleans. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher spoke to one of those passengers today, and she joins us live in the studio tonight with our top story. Hi, Rebecca. Hey, Annette. Well, this was a nightmare for those passengers just trying to get to their destinations. You can see that video right there behind me. One man sat towards the back of that bus where the flames ignited, and he tells me that the driver was aware of issues and was told to keep driving. These are flames from an Amtrak chartered bus on Friday, frightening passengers who were on board. People started saying, oh, there's smoke. Steve Majunkin was seated towards the back of that bus. The back started screaming about it, and that's what taught us something was really wrong. 51 passengers were filed off of the bus owned by Hotard coaches. Mr. Majunkin shared this video. She called and they told them to keep going. She said the oil light was on. She said every light was on. Hotard Buses has a satisfactory rating with the Department of Transportation. They've reported 18 crashes in the last couple of years. However, for passengers, getting safely off the bus was also a struggle. We were parked almost adjacent to our abutting the concrete barrier next to the to the swamp. Mindrunken says once he arrived in Chicago, he had more trouble with getting decent customer service. Meanwhile, his luggage and shoes were soaked, leaving him in flip flops. Uh, my shoes were destroyed and I was barefoot, basically barefoot in Chicago winter. Um, and, with, and Amtrak had no care for that whatsoever. And Junkin was with his 65-year-old mother her first time on a train. It's an experience they never want to relive. And it made the situation the worst it could have been based on what you would tell a driver to do. And a graduate student here from Memphis who attends a school in New Orleans wasn't able to go on camera today, but she told me over the phone that the driver was told that the lights on the bus were just malfunctioning. She lost her computer and books on that bus. We reached out to Hotard coaches multiple times. We emailed them and have yet to hear back. Live in the studio, I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News. Rebecca.